Hello everyone, this is Sheila. What would you do if you feel that you might have overwatered your succulent? In this video, we are talking about what you should do when you realize that you might have watered your succulent too soon. So let's proceed. Key point number one on how to save that overwatered succulent is to remove your succulent from its source of water. How do we do that? By gently removing as much of the wet soil as we can. Because key point number two is that once you have realized that you have watered your succulent too soon, the worst thing that you can do is to wait it out and hope that the soil will dry before it dies. Remember, the longer you wait, the lesser chance it has to survive. So time is of the essence here. Key point number three, remove most of the wet soil. Because your succulent will keep absorbing all the water that's available to them. That is just how they're built. The last thing that you want is for them to keep drinking at this point. By the way, it took some time for me to release another video because I was on vacation. You don't have to watch it, but at the end of this video, I'm also sharing some clips of our experience in Universal Studios Hollywood. But for now, key point number four, after removing most of the soil, place your succulent in a cool, dry place. So preferably indoors where the environment is more controlled, such as by a window that is not getting direct sunlight. Do not expose it to extremely warm and extremely cold temperatures. Key point number five is to allow it to air dry for days. This is to make sure that the little amount of soil that is still sticking to the roots are dry. Your succulent is better off without any source of water while it's recovering. You won't even have to worry about them going thirsty because at this point, they have more than enough water stored in their leaves for their own good. So let them experience that dry spell. All drought-tolerant plants such as succulents and cacti are always better off on the dry side. I can never stress this enough. In fact, I decided to make this video for you because I keep getting this same question. So my goal in this video is to help everyone who keep losing their succulents due to overwatering or watering too often. And speaking of goals, in my other channel, I shared how to make an effective vision board, which has helped me a lot in achieving success in my endeavors. And I also share positive messages there. And you can watch it by tapping on the link up here or in the description below. Later in this video, I will also share something that I think is super cute. I think it will cheer you guys up to see it. Because for now, key point number six, once you see that the soil around the roots is dry enough, replant it in dry soil. Be very careful with this. Make sure that the soil does not have moisture at all. Most commercial cactus soil mix would be moist in the bag. So I highly suggest that you air dry that soil for days too. In fact, I would even stir it up while it's drying just to make sure that that soil is completely dry. Key point number seven is to leave it without water for about seven days in the summer and up to 14 days in the cooler months like fall, winter and spring after replanting that succulent. And to give you an update, here is this succulent that we were trying to save earlier. Do you see these yellow leaves and healthier green leaves? She has definitely gone a long way with recovery, right? And as promised, remember I told you that I'm going to share something that I think is super cute? Let me just show you these little baby succulents that fell from the pot and decided to root here. This little lady here fell from this pot when I saw her, I thought she just got knocked off and got blown by the wind. When I tried to pick her up, I realized that she's rooted and she was actually growing here. So I just allowed her to grow and not bother her at all. She has been exposed to the elements, rain and sun. Since it's summertime here in Brentwood, it has been really, really warm recently. In fact, it can go to the upper 90s and she is just being her pretty self. 
not minding the sun at all. Here's another baby that came from this spot. See how tough these little ones can be? Which reminds me of my message for you today. And it is that your fortune depends on how well you count your blessings. So learn to count your blessings and appreciate them no matter how small it may seem. If you want to know more about this, you can always click on the link up here or in the description below. And as promised, here are some clips showing our vacation in Universal Studios in Hollywood in case you're looking for a place to go on your next vacation. So we're here! Huh? Oh, yeah, I know! Let me see! The red carpet! <laughs> you don't really have to watch this, but I thought I'd share a piece of my family and myself with you guys. So enjoy watching. And of course, we went straight to Harry Potter's world. Where we got to try the butter beer, which is not an alcoholic beer at all. And you'll definitely see some super funny stuff when we reach the special effects studios.
Give me one second, I'll be right back. Give me one second. Thank you, buddy. All right, you know how are you feeling, my friend? You look great, you feel good, thumbs up? <laughs> okay. Any um, last words for your girlfriend? He says he loves you very, very much. Yes. I'm sorry, what? Oh, tomorrow he wants to take you shoe shopping on Rodeo Drive. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> no spending limit. <laughs> Keep it, you got there. That helps complete the effect. We're going to use a technique called rear projection. Guys, can we get the background plates up? Excellent, Jim. While we're all set, so I'll hit enable. Put your finger on the green bar, and let's take him up right there. Now stop. Let go. <laughs> and he's up. Take your hand off for me. Just release. It'll, it'll stay. Give me one second. Like, no, uh, my friend, let go of the cables because that will knock it off the track. Just let go and put your chin up and your shoulders back. I'm going to help you. So just put your chin up and your shoulders back. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, so chin what we're going to do now is we're going to your shoulders back. I'm gonna let go of you. <laughs> yeah! And you look very natural. Do you want to take your hand on the purple? And let's take him forward slowly, slowly. There you go. And off he goes. Meanwhile, relax. Relax. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. I'm this You okay, buddy? Just like that, arm to your side. <laughs> kind of hanging like a dead fish, but it's not. Take the green, let's go all the way up here slowly. There you go, you got it, There you go. Good. Excellent, not too high. Now take the purple and make a big circle. Slowly. Okay. He's going back to China, so let's move. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. There you go, buddy. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, uh, go straight down, straight down. You're doing great. Okay, I'm gonna help this guy. You okay there, buddy? So there you go. That's my face. Okay, down. Are you okay? All right, let's hear it. Couldn't even form a sentence. Five of them. What an embarrassment. Back to your Snapchat slime. Who do you think you matter? <laughs> You're all alone. Get used to it. No way. What do you want? Why are you here? Wearing your tiara. No, <laughs> I feel like a tiara. Children, what do you know about the enemy? What do you know about my all spark? Why are you doing that? Bending your legs so weirdly. Was that supposed to be a pose? It made you look so awkward for that picture. You're never gonna post it. Too awkward. The bony legs sticking out like a wishbone. These humans are all mutants. Genetic strand is disarray. Your toxic gas on this man. 
I'm gonna go on your brother will catch some of the fumes too. Brady, look. Is there a baby in there? Let me see. Let me look at it. Oh, hey. Hello. No way. No way. Autobot. <laughs> this is in their video. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. That is what's up. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> Shorts. Toys worn biker shorts since 1989. <laughs> Where's the bicycle? <laughs> what? Where's the polish? You can polish my armor. Go get your shine box. Attention. You need to get everybody's attention. Do that again. Hey, make sure everybody's paying attention and do that again. Come on. Do it right. <laughs> They're paying attention now.
Statue of Liberty to the Statue of Liberty play. <laughs> you miss shield? Good luck. Uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Get up. Come on, come on, we gotta go. Somebody signal my plane! Somebody! Shut up! Oh. 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 Go pack! I'll get the plane! Ended, and civilization may start anew on dry land, while the mariner roams the four points of the compass on the endless seas. And this is my best friend, Harper. Harper and I both work for a company that's been training animals for movies and television for over 40 years. Something you may not know is that many of your favorite animal stars actually come from rescues and shelters. And just like Harper, they got their start right here on this stage in front of a live audience. Right back. Where you found it. Folks, that's Flappy. Thank you so much. birds like Flappy, but sometimes we get to challenge ourselves with something larger, like a bird of prey. As seen in this clip from Universal's Lady Hawk, Matthew Broderick catches that hawk with precision and grace in a spectacular feat of flight. We like to recreate a little bit of that movie magic. If you focus your attention to the small closed box at the top corner of the arena, you might recognize a star flying down from the movie 310 to Yuma. Ladies and gentlemen, watch your heads. This is Arrow. Okay, wait, before you run off, come on over here. This guy in the red hat right here, he's got a five. You wanna try it with this bird? Sure, no, it's a joke. <laughs> Thanks, you too. There's still so much to see in Universal Studios, so I promise you that it's a great place to visit. Falcons, vultures, eagles, and owls. We'd like to introduce you to a cousin of arrows in a rare close-up appearance. <laughs> And again, count your blessings no matter how small they are. Thank you, this is Sheila again, your person on a mission for succulent fame. Sending inspirations your way with every succulent. Remember to subscribe and share this video.